Hello, welcome to GERTC videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we have new videos. In this video, we'll continue with the deflection of cantilever beam. So, nasa part 3 na tayo. Ah, oh, by the way, before I proceed, I uh, invite you kayo sa aming online class. We will start on June 1. 13 weeks yan. It will last for 13 weeks. Yung, pa rin yung parang yung regular review namin, regular review yung style namin, only it is recorded. So, if you want to know more details, may video kami dito sa YouTube channel. I-scroll nyo na lang regarding the details of that, how it works. Ah. So, kung naganahan kayo dito sa ating video, then mas grabe yung sa aming review. Talagang kompleto lahat yun. Kompleto lahat yung aming uh, discussion doon. May mga derivation of formulas, lahat ng mga basic ibibigay namin. Na? Kasi sa review namin, we deal with basic talaga. Kasi ang review naman, para naman doon sa naka, ano na, nakalimut. Kaya nga nag-review, nakalimutan na yung basic. Na? Kaya we focus more on that. Okay? So, Kahit undergraduate kayo, pwede kayong mag-enroll. Walang problema. Kahit sino, pwede mag-enroll. Kahit nursing ka, pwede ka mag-enroll. <laughs> okay. So, ayan. So, i-continue natin yung ating cantilever. Na? Deflection of cantilever beam. So, in part 1, we use the area moment method. In part 2, we use the double integration method. I hope na panood nyo na yung two parts. I, I encourage you to watch these parts para ma-compare nyo. And let us have part 3 now. We will use the three-moment equation. Three-moment equation. Part 4 after this, we will have yung basic formulas gagamitin natin. Ha? So, uh, minention ko na, sa board exam, ano talaga? Uh, kalimitan na nag-involve ng uh, deflection is cantilever. Props, cantilever or cantilever beam. Alright? So, and basic loading lang. Basic lang yung mga loadings nila. Ha? Okay, I've been following board exam, by the way, I've been following board exam for 30 years. Tagal na, no? Tanda na tayo. Huh? Okay, kaya uh, parang nakabisado ko na yung mga past board exams. Okay, so summarize natin. Uh, ito yung uh, area moment method. The requirement are the deflection and rotation at B and at C. Area moment, sinod natin in part 1. Uh, part 2 of our video, we use the double integration. Ito yung latest natin. Ha? So, di-discuss natin paano. We got the same answer. So, we can compare these uh, solutions. No? Anyway, they have the, the same answers. Yun ang importante dyan. Okay? Kaya, hindi nyo ma-question yung validity ng ating solution. And then, uh, ito naman yung ating ngayon. We will use the three-moment equation. Discuss muna natin yung fundamentals ng three-moment equation. Kahit mabilisan lang, ha? Okay, ano ba yung fundamental ng three-moment equation? Most students thought that the three-moment equation is only used to find moment. Actually, no. The three-moment equation was originally designed to find deflection. Actually, deviations. Ha? Ito yung tinan nyo. Ito yung generalized uh, situation ng three-moment. You have a beam, whether continuous beam or single span beam or any beam. And then ito yung ating elastic curve. So there are three points in the elastic curve A, B, C. Eh, meron tayong three moments, M, A, M, B, M, C. Yun yung requirement. Dapat alam mo yung moment A, moment B, moment C. Meron tayong L1 between A and B. Meron tayong moment of inertia. And then L24 between B and C. Meron tayong moment of inertia. Meron tayong deviations. Actually, a sort of, actually, hindi naman siya deviation but parang offset of each point relative to the center point B. Ito yung H1. The direction of that is perpendicular to the position of the beam. So, kung yung beam mo ay horizontal, this offset is vertical, perpendicular to the position of the beam. Ito naman yung H2, relative to the offset niya, no? From the, or relative uh, position niya, perpendicular to the posi uh, original position of the beam, H2. Okay? The general three-moment equation, assuming E is constant for A and B, A, B, C, Ito yung general with E constant. Then, MA L1 over I1, referring to L1, I1 here. MA is the moment at A. 2 MB, L1, L2. Okay, I1, I2. MC, and then L2. And then ito, we will just use the formula. We don't have time to discuss, to derive that. Na? 
6a bar a, ito naman yung 6a bar b natin, equal 6e, Mom, uh, elastic modulus, no? h1, ito yung h1 over l1, and then h2 over l2. Ito yung general formula ng three moment equation. Ang formula nito, I know most of you are familiar with that already, ito yun. Kung considered daw lang, ang 6a bar a is ito, 6a bar b yan. Okay, uh, bar A, bar B. Ito naman kung concentrated load at the middle, 3,8 PL squared. Ito naman kung uniform load. Ito yung gagabitin natin dito kasi uniform load ang involved. Na? Uh, ito yan. Take note, this is the loading between the points. Na? Uh, okay, lagay, uh, ito. Loading between AB, loading between BC. Uh, that prefers to that load. Ito naman kung varying load. Okay, anyway, gagabitin na lang natin yung formula diretso. Ha? So, remember this, WL cube over 4. Pariha yung 6A bar A tsaka yung 6A bar B for uniform load. Okay. Sige. Now, uh, yan yung general formula. Ha? General formula. Now, in our uh, beam, okay, so we are after for the reflection of point B. Uh, kukunin natin yung reflection dito. Tawagin natin yung HB. So, take note to do this, kailangan natin ng tatlong points. Which three points are we going to use? Okay, we will use A, C, and B. Okay, pwede. Pero may problema ka. Kasi kung gagamitin mo yung C, although makukuha. Kasi kung, okay, if we will use C, kailangan mo ng moment at C. Uh, we can do that. But kailangan mo ng H. Ano ba yung H mo? Yung H1 mo will be the uh, uh, offset of A from C. And that is unknown. So mahihirapan ka. Ha? Huh? The best point is, of course, B, of course, we, it, it has to be included, A. Now, the other point is like this. Since fixed end ito siya, pwede tayong mag-consider ng imaginary span. Actually, there is this span beyond A, fixed end. Tawagin natin itong point O, and the length is LO. Now, this span, actually, it, actually it, this exists. Kaya lang, ang I nito is very strong. Ang I niyan is infinity. You can always do that. Fixed end. Kasi yung fixed end, para kang meron kang beam dito. Para nag-imagine lang tayo na meron tayong another beam dito that is very strong. Na yung moment of inertia niya is napakalaki. Infinity yung kanyang moment of inertia. Napansin niyo sa formula yung moment of inertia nasa denominator. Kaya kung yung denominator mo magiging infinite, that term becomes zero. Ayan. Kaya it will really exist sa fixed end kapag very rigid yung ating support. Okay, so then we will choose O, A, B. I will avoid C. Anyway, hindi naman required yet. Ito naman yung required natin. Ha? A, O, A, B. So let's take this point. Ha? L, O natin yan. Take note, no? the middle point is A. The third point is B. Okay. So, kailangan natin ang moment. So, the moment at O is unknown. Actually, huh? Okay, never mind. If mawawala din yan mamaya kasi meron yung denominator na I na infinity. Huh? The moment at A kailangan natin. That's 306 negative. Okay, we, we need that. The middle point. And the moment at B is 0. Okay, did you get this? Now, ito yung equation natin. I hope ma-follow nyo. Ha? Isulat ko lahat. Ayan. M O L O over I O. Mawawala yan kasi I O is infinite. Okay, middle point 2 M B. So 2 M A L O L L O L. Ito mawawala yan kasi infinity yung I O mo. Okay, next M C ito ha. Follow this M C L to. So here it will be M B L over I. Hindi mawawala yan. Meron tayong I. I I nga lang yung binigay ha. Ito naman, mawawala ito kasi I is infinity. So, wala na yan. Zero na yan. Ito, meron to. Na? Ang formula nito, gagamitin natin yung... Kasi the load between A and B is uniform. So, gamitin mo yung load for the uni, yung formula for the uniform load. Which is WL cube over 4. Pinakita ko kanina yung formula. Okay, so ito na yan. Ha? Sa teacher natin. Zero ito. Kasi infinity yung ating... Kung baga, ito na lang yung para madali nyo maintindihan... Lahat lang nag involve ng O, ignore nyo lahat. Kasi lahat na yun may denominator na infinity. So, 0 yan. 2 MA. MA is negative uh, 306. Wala yan. Ito naman is 3 over I. Ito naman, 0 naman yung MB natin. Kaya, 
Si Iro din yan. Ito wala yan. Na? Ito, ito wala. Zero. Ito is W L cube over 4. Meron lang tayong I ha. Meron tayong I. W L cube over 4. May I lang tayo. 6E, ito mawawala to. Na? Kasi yung H mo naman, H O naman talaga is zero. Na? Zero yung H O mo. Okay? And then HB. Ang matitira dito is HB. And HB is the reflection at B. Yan lang niya. Lahat ng merong subscript na O, i-cancel niyo na yan. Sabi ng iba, that's just an imaginary. That's just saling po sa. But actually, it did exist. Kaya lang, yung denominator niya is infinite. Kaya magiging zero siya. Ha? Okay. Now, you may ask me, Sir, paano ko yung fixed end? Hindi infinite yung I. May I siya. Ayun, gagamitin mo. Hindi yan magiging zero. Meron siyang ano, weakness. No? Hindi siya talagang totally rigid. Okay. So, substituting or simplifying that, it will become like this. Alright? Ayan na. So, Makukuha na natin ngayon yung HB. Substitute natin yung uh, ano na, yung EI. I mean, uh, i-separate natin yung EI. Okay, hanggang dito na lang ako. Hindi ko na lang i-substitute yung value niya. Anyway, ito ito din yung nakuha natin kanina. Tingnan nyo, 796.5. Ito yun, no? Okay? Nakuha nyo? Eh? So, tatlong points. The points are O, A, B. So, bakit tayo nag-extend dito? Kasi we need three points. I could choose any point along the length. But the problem is, if I will choose, let's say, C, ano naman yung H niya? That is another problem. Although, makukuha natin yung moment at that. Kasi, take note, yung kailangan mo dyan, tatlong moment at saka dalawang displacements. Dalawang offsets. Okay? So, ito, offset yan, depression. Kaya, dito, pwede ka mag-extend dito. Pwede ka dito mag-extend. Baka sabihin nyo, sir, uh, can we do that only sa fixed end? Yes, only sa fixed end. Kasi a fixed end, can, we can treat this. Para ba sinabi natin, meron kang beam dito na napaka-strong, na yung strength niya napakalaki yung moment of inertia niya. Ganon yung explanation niyan. Kaya we can do that. What if it that is a simple end? Are you cannot do that. No? Walang, walang resistance yun. And besides, if that is simple end, this cannot stand. Matutumba to. Cantilever yan. No? It cannot be. Okay? I hope na intindihan niya yung reason beyond why pwede tayo mag-extend beyond a fixed end. Ha? A fixed end can be treated as a very strong beam with infinite yung kanyang moment of inertia. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung reflection at B. Now, reflection at C tayo. Okay, I will uh, move to the next slide. Mamawala yan ngayon. Okay, deflection C. This time, I will use OAC. Ah, wala na yung B. Tanggalin na natin yung B. Ha? Wala na. Anyway, nadyan pala eh, pero hindi tayo mag-extend doon. Or pwede ka mag-OCB. Anyway, no naman yung SB mo. Pero wag lang. Wag lang, mahirap. I would rather choose OAC. Pwede ka mag-ACB. Meron ka namang deflection na sa C. Ha? So, try nyo na lang yan. Kayo na lang mag-try. Huwag uh, kayong matakot. Try nyo. Mas marami kayong matutunan kapag mag-venture kayo. Okay. So, OAC. So, we need the moment at A. We already have the moment at A. We need the moment at C. So, kailangan natin ha, yung moment at C. Yung moment at A is negative 306. Okay. Yung moment at C. What's the moment at C? Sa right side tayo magtingin. So, we have negative 48. 48 times 1 minus 36 times 1 36 ito times 1 meter times 1 over 2 so, so that is negative 66 okay now I will simplify my equation ha? I will eliminate the denominator sa na I ito yung magiging equation ha? take note O A C okay M O L O plus 2 M A L O plus L A C. A C ako ha, ito ito ito. L A C. Plus M C times L A C. Plus 6 A O bar A O over L O. Plus 6 area 1. I'll just call it area 1 for A C. Bar B1 over L1. Equal 6 E I. Doon ko na lang nilagay yung I. Ha? So tinanggal ko na lang yung infinity dyan. Ha? Ayan ang magiging resulta. Again, lahat ng may O na subscript, 
eliminate nyo. So, this will be 0 plus 2MA. Okay, 0 yan, 2. Ito naman, MC is negative 66 times 2 yung LAC. Okay, ito wala yan, 0 na yan. Ito, ang formula natin ay WL cube over 4. Ha? O, kasi the load, isipin nyo, pagkuha niyan, tinan mo yung load between that span. Ang loading between AC is uniform load lang. You might ask me, yeah, how about that one? Wala na akong pakialam dyan. Only the load within the span ang kailangan mo. Na? Okay, that will be WL cube over 4. Ayan, equal 6EI. Okay, solving for HC, ito yung lalabas. Parihas na parihas yan kanina. 3, 4, 4 to 8. 4 to 8. Okay, by the way, nakalimutan akong explain. Bakit negative yung sign? Ano yung ba? Anong meaning ng negative sign? Ito, kayo yung sign? ito kasi yung sign convention yan. The offset is positive if it is above the middle point. Always middle point yung ating reference. Ito, positive, positive offset yan. Middle point to eh. Ito, positive yan. Okay, here the middle point is A. So we got a negative sign for your offset sa B. Kasi below siya sa A. Below the middle point. If you got a positive sign, meaning the point is above the middle point. Always middle point yung ating reference. Ha? Kasi base dito sa elastic curve na yan. I hope na kuha nyo yung sign. I forgot to explain this kanina. Okay? So the same answer yung nakuha natin. So walang doda. Pareho. Kaya lang dito sa 3 moment, hindi tayo makakuha ng slope. Only reflection. Pinakita ko lang yan para... Kasi may mga problem, lalo na sa simple beam. Madali yung 3 moment. Dep really, depende ito sa question talaga. Ha? May mga time na mabilis yung 3 moment. Depende sa loading, depende sa talong. Kaya I introduce you the, all the 3, all these methods. Okay? So that's it. I hope marami kayong nakuha, natutunan sa ating video. So, please don't forget to subscribe sa YouTube channel natin, ha? And please, click the bell icon para ma-notify kayo sa ating mga newly uploaded videos, okay? Thank you so much.